for students at ONU researching and using their voice to spread awareness and dismantle misconceptions about the opioid epidemic in Ohio. Bethany Ulrich has more. As part of their coursework, four political science students at Ohio Northern University produce a podcast called Uncap It, dealing with a wide variety of issues that impact their college and hometown communities. One topic the group has covered extensively is the widespread opioid use in Ohio. Many of their peers don't realize just how close to home the problem really is. A lot of people might not expect that Ohio is one of the most um, prominently affected states when it comes to the opioid crisis. Um, I come from Marion County, who itself um, is known for having particular issues with heroin. To help others empathize with people suffering from addiction, it's important to explain not only why an individual may find themselves struggling, but how the crisis became so deeply rooted in our region. At the beginning of the opioid crisis, it's because of this change in the Rust Belt city. So people are losing jobs, they're seeking other alternative measures, um, and some of that led into this opioid addiction. They're seeking this way out of their life because of where they ended up in their lot in life. Ohio was one of the most interconnected states among the U.S. highway system, and this allows for a lot of um, drug trafficking and things connected to the opioid crisis. Also in 2017, Montgomery County, which is home to Dayton, was um, sort of seen as the drug capital of the United States for that year as it was trafficking a ton of opioids. Though many students might not struggle with the risk factors that lead to addiction, all it takes is one bad choice, like experimenting with party drugs, to become part of the statistics. Buying pills on the street, most of the time they're not what they say they are. And because fentanyl is such a big issue right now, most counterfeit pills have fentanyl in them. And as most people know, fentanyl is extremely deadly. And so just trying it one time or taking one pill can lead to a fatal overdose. The group also hopes to continue spreading awareness of the importance of resources like Narcan, recovery services, and stronger government regulations. Reporting in Ada, I'm Bethany Ulrich for your news now.